been a couple days, maybe a week or so. We got the powder coated piece in for the coolant temperature housing, whatever you want to call it. And it almost perfectly matches up with this. It's a little bit off. To the naked eye, it, it's really not that big of a deal off, but on the camera, it looks totally different. So we're just gonna send it. Um, that's the, this is the only option we had. There was a darker teal and it just wouldn't work. So this is more of a seafoam green and it looks really bad in this lighting too, but I don't think it'll be too bad once we get it painted in the engine bay. So we're gonna try to match these. It's not gonna be perfect, but we're gonna have fun with it and throw some black strings on it, just like this veins and stuff. So we'll see how it goes. Um, so we're gonna leave that there and kind of match it up to that. Got it all taped off and we'll see how it goes. Just going on a limb here and trying to figure out what we're gonna do. Don't know how well this is gonna work. See, that ain't gonna work. Oh, Jesus. That did not go as planned. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so we've innovated and we're about to try this again. Show y'all what we're doing and working with here. You just <coughs> poke the hole poke the bag with a needle and you just freaking send it bro fill that baby up <laughs> kapow look at this <laughs> yeah oh my god can't believe i'm doing that i think we're good bro object is to make it look random with some veins, and I think we accomplished that. Oh yeah, dude. <laughs> Hell yes. I am on point. All right, so after the decision, we ended up going to O'Reilly's and getting NGK spark plugs, which I was already going to get that, obviously. That's what we need. This car is a mess. I don't care. Freaking garage is a mess. I don't care. These are Dosh Works. I guess that's how you say it. Deech Works. I don't know. We got 65 pound fuel injectors for E85, guys. Um, as long as we can go ahead and get everything to where it needs to be and install these, install the the manifold install the part that i just repainted and then we'll be good to go on that and make sure the engine runs i'm pretty sure i can run 93 octane with this with the tune that i have right now and then whenever we want to convert over to e85 we can do that so for the time being i think we should be okay running 93 even though i'm not going to be driving this car much so i think we're going to be all right to be honest but let's go ahead and install these <clears throat> Alright, super lube it. Super lube. Oh yeah, that thing's gushing out, baby. Gushing out, boy. I've been waiting for this to come in stock. And I finally bought it last week and it came in today. This is the 170 degree... I don't know how you say that, Rish Performance Product. I think that's how you say it. I can't really make it out. But this is a 170 degree coolant temperature thermometer, thermostat, sorry. And we're gonna be putting that in today as well. So we're able to put the Mustang back together. That's what we've been waiting on. And we're also gonna install our NGK Iridium IX spark plugs. Um, we're gonna be able to put our coolant back in. So we're gonna also install the upper manifold and then we should be able to button this puppy back up and 
let her run for a little bit, make sure she runs good, and uh, we should be good. So let's get started. All right. So now we can put our spark plugs back in. And they're already pre grapped and we double check to make sure they're at point zero four five. They're good to go, so we can drop these suckers in there and get them to go in. needle nose pliers or hand me those pliers right there that's on the ground junk freaking junk Say goodbye. Scrappy piece of junk. <clears throat> That's good. What else is in here? Some late model V6 application require a gasket that is fitted on the thermostat. In this case, do not install our supplied O-ring. Reuse the OEM. It's the same as that gasket. Uh, all that. All, once I get this engine running, then we're gonna start working on that stuff. I don't even care, bro. Like, it's already spilled out so much, you might as well just go ahead and spill out the rest of the coolant and wash it off later. It makes this slip on easier. <laughs> so, if y'all are wondering, we got this coolant reservoir on Amazon. Do not go to American Muscle and spend $150, $170 for this. I literally got this for 60 bucks, and then I got it powder coated black, and I still saved money. $40 to get it powder coated so it all works the same and it looks exactly the same as the one on American Muscle oh yeah this looks like 10 times better dude than that crappy plastic we gotta get you know what we'll do we'll just spray paint that black or something just to get that yeah look go away or paint it. No, we're not going to paint silver. I want to get away from the silver stuff. <laughs> 